<laughs> hey guys oh i have never vlogged in this car so i think we're at a good angle i don't know we're about to go to the outlet and just walk around because i'm kind of bored i don't really have that many errands to do i got off of work early yesterday and so i did my early i did my workout yeah Friday afternoon. Mm. Just been, yeah, just been busy, I guess. I have been a big girl and moved to the big girl car world. And so, if you guys were wondering what I was driving before when I did my other car talking vlogs I was driving a 2004 Toyota Corolla that is right and it was like the most basic model and when I got it my parents got it for me when I was starting college and it was like the most basic thing but at that time, Corollas were so hot. Like, even though I graduated in 2003, um, they had already sold out of all the 2003 models by like July of 2003. So they only had 2004 models. So I drove that thing for almost uh, like over 50 over 12 years and the thing had roll windows if you guys don't know what roll windows are you guys need to look that up it was the bomb.com so yeah um you know what but here's the thing about it i drove it till i was uh 30 so from 18 to 30 years old i drove that thing so i had that thing for um all of my 20s obviously and you know what driving that car really made me realize like you don't need much in a car and you don't need much to accomplish you know certain things and it really humbled me because even though my friends were driving like nicer cars some of them had even like gone into like the luxury car world where they like you know are driving Lexuses and Mercedes and things like that I was just still driving my <laughs> 2004 Toyota Corolla with roll windows and no uh, automatic locks <laughs> yeah I had to use a key to open the car like turn the key to open the door um, it really humbled me like it really did because to me I find that um, a car, to me personally, now this is my own personal opinion, a car is meant to transport you from point A to point B, and, um, I forgot to forewarn you guys, uh, this is just going to be a bunch of talking, and so if you don't like a bunch of talking, mm, you're not going to like this video. <laughs> so back to the thing. It's supposed to get you from point A to point B, and that car absolutely did. It took me from point A to point B. It took me from um, my my parents' house to college, to university, and you know, took me to work and took me back home. And it was an incredibly reliable car. When my parents bought it for me in the of 2003 that car was maybe thirteen thousand dollars I mean grant you like that was like 2003 and that was like the best investment like ever because to me a car is a sunk cost it's like when you buy it and you want to like resell it back you're never going to get you're never gonna make money off of it first of all and what sometimes most of the time nowadays is like if you trade it in you're almost like upside down on it which what does upside down mean for you guys that are younger upside down means that what the value what you what you owe on the car is more than what the value of the car the current value of the car is so say like 
the car is worth say ten thousand dollars on the market but you still owe fifteen thousand dollars on it that's being upside down and that's not cool you know so to me I would say that yes this message is for the younger folks is that buy a car that gives you a lot of value and it's very good quality and very reliable like I said I was driving a uh, Toyota Corolla and it was extremely extremely reliable I grant you here's another thing is like every once in a while take the car out for maintenance don't just wait for something to go wrong because preventative maintenance you know it can cost from five to thousand dollars but those that five to thousand dollars that I spent twice for having that car for 12 years saved me from having a full-on another note and you know it stretched me out for 12 years and preventative maintenance is way better because usually it's it starts off with a minor problem and then it becomes a big problem so if you can fix the minor problems it never goes into the big problems so that's something that's like really really important um, that I find I'm also in the uh, I don't do I do accounting obviously but I do accounting for a place that does automotive repair and I find that a lot of times people spend a lot of money because they didn't do preventative maintenance you got to do preventative maintenance because if you don't then you're gonna spend those thousands of dollars and you're gonna have a big old headache and you're gonna wonder why oh my gosh this son thinks so sucks so much but because you did it maintain the car it's gonna just like fall apart it's kind of like you know if you don't take care of your body and you eat overeat and you don't exercise and one day you go have a heart attack it's kind of like that okay like they were all like the writing was on the wall when you had like the high blood pressure and the high cholesterol and things like that and you just didn't take heed to it I think that's the same way with cars um, so first of all you know get something that is um, not too rare one thing I find is like you get something that's too rare you're gonna have a niche market for when you had to resell it second thing is get something that is good quality and that is um, not overpriced because I feel like a lot of times you spend money on the name when you can get a lot of car with less money um, because you're not spending the name on it. Like I said, um, Toyota was the last car I drove. I think it was amazing. Not sponsored by Toyota, by the way, because I'm not even driving a Toyota right now. Right now, if you guys are wondering what I'm driving right now, I'm driving a 2014 uh, Acura RDX. Um, and you're gonna be like, whoa, 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 that is a really big step from a Corolla. <laughs> and it kinda is. Um, but I do find that, you know, I'm 31 now, and I just turned 31 last month, and I find that, you know, I gotta be, I gotta kinda move up in life and go into big girl status, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but I was also smart about it, my husband and I were really smart about this, we decided, um, this is my first used car that I've ever bought, uh, this is my first car, no, this is not this is my second car I've ever bought um, in my name at least but this is the first car that I actually had to pay the note on and um, we were really smart about it we knew what we wanted but here's the thing is like don't wait for your car to break down to buy a new one if you are on the verge and you know that you want to buy a new car start researching and here's the thing especially with used cars you're going to find a great deal this car was a great great deal granted you it gave me a lot of headache to go freaking find this car because in Houston there's like four Acura dealerships and two of them were jerks one of them was like because of the location like they just their pricing was kind of um, MSRP blue book type of pricing so I wouldn't say it's expensive but there weren't any great deals because of the location of this 
the one dealership. So I'm not gonna say like they were jerks. It was just the demographic of who, where they were selling it to and the surrounding area. And so I actually wound up driving 60 miles from my house to pick up this car, but I think it was well worth it to save thousands of dollars. Um, but it took me, when I did the video about my bad experience, I think after that, uh, so it took me like months to finally find this car. So I think tip number one is, if you know you want to buy a new car, start your start doing your research and start really um, thinking about getting a new car instead of waiting for your current car to break down if you're driving an older car. Um, that's definitely what I did. I think I could have really pushed my car, my last car, to 200,000 miles easy, but I just didn't want to. I didn't want to... Um, be stranded. I didn't want anything to happen to me. And yes, granted, I do buy roadside assistance with my insurance for my car, but I just still didn't want to be put in that position. You never want to be put in that position, especially if you live in a big city like I do. And I live in Houston, and it's just not, it's not fun. You feel like crap if you have to hold up traffic because your car broke down and whatever. And then, because if your car breaks down and you decide it's not worth salvaging, and you want to go buy a new car then you're kind of like stuck in this thing of like oh I need to find a new car and you will most likely end up paying a lot more than you should have if you were just more proactive everything about this is going to be proactive you got to be proactive second of all you get to decide what is going to work for you so the reason why I got a compact SUV this time instead of like a sedan um, because the next step would be, would be from going from compact car to sedan, but I decided for this because um, my husband and I, I don't think we've really talked about this much before. I've never really talked too much about this on my channel. I've tried to film it about a couple times, but I just never edited it, published it, whatever, is that we want to start a family. We really, really want to start a family. And um, just having a car, it's okay, but I would rather, I would really rather feel more safe and comfortable with a SUV type of car, but nothing too big where I feel like I'm driving a boat because I don't really want to feel like I'm driving a boat either. So this is a good size. It's um, to me, it's almost kind of like you're driving a, a four door car. But it's elevated it's a little stockier and so it gives you more stability makes you feel more safe you can see more of the road um, the gas mileage that that is something that I do miss with the older car but the other car that I did have it was a lot smaller there's a reason why it was cheaper it was almost like almost borderline driving a tin can to be honest if something were to happen to me I think it's one thing if something were to happen to me because it's just me and I'm an adult and I can take the hit not too many hits though but to just know that I was too cheap and you know and if I could afford it then you know one day when we do have children that you know I you know with the best of my ability got them or put them in a car that was a lot safer than you know just a compact car that was really inexpensive yes good quality engine but like yeah that's just not cool so think about your future think about where you want to be with that car um, another thing is is that think about what you want to do as far as do you want to do you want to own or do you want to lease um, you know the more I thought about it I used to think oh it's so foolish for people to want to um, lease a car but the thing about leasing cars is I think it just depends on where you are in your life. I think leasing a car for somebody that is a bit on the, um, they already had their children are already grown. So I think like it just depends on um, what you want to do and your, what you're doing and what, where you are in the stage of your life. Um, yeah stage in your life to see where where you're gonna be I think 
you know, like I said, I think I used to think like, oh man, leasing a car. But leasing a car is like you only drive it for a few years. You trade it in. You never have to worry too much about maintenance. You never have to worry about you know this and that. And if you're just using it as a commuter car, it might be something that you might want to look into. Now, for me, um, I'm at a stage in life where I want to own the car. I eventually own the car. I want to eventually um, not just when I pay the car off, I want to keep it for at least another five to seven years. So in other words, I would drive this car for like 10 to 12 years. So for me, not having a note for five to seven years is a great thing. Because um, in the end, you know, it's mine. I can turn around and sell it and all that good stuff. Um, like I said, it just depends on the scenario that you want to do. So that's that. Um, Let's see here. So figure out what kind of car you want. Be proactive. Figure out if you want to have a note or if you want to save. Saving money though. So if you you have to be super proactive if you want to actually buy the car in cash because that is whoa. You know, like that's a lot of money. That you know, we're talking. You know, a decent car can range from. You know, even if you buy it used or whatever, it, you want something with low miles, good quality, blah blah blah. I'm gonna say it starts from like at least sixteen thousand dollars and up. Um, so that is a lot of money, and a lot honestly, I, like let's be honest, like a lot of times we don't have that kind of money. Like that's just a lot of money to have. Um, that yeah. So you gotta think about how are you gonna save that money. Definitely, if you want a low note, you gotta at least save a good amount of money to at least put as a down payment. I don't really recommend ever really putting like barely anything down or nothing down because I feel like that's pretty um, that's pretty silly because in the end you're paying for a lot of extra interest interest that you probably don't need to put in and the fact that you're gonna have a huge note um, right now my note is super reasonable and so, because I put a very decent decent down payment on this car so um, you know think about what you can afford every month and you know figure out like what's your price range, how much you're willing to pay, and go from there. Go from like thinking about how much your um, monthly, how much you want to do your monthly payments. Now here's the thing, it's like, oh, what's another $50 a month, you know, for a car that I really, really like. You gotta remember an extra $50 a month is an extra $600 a year, which is an extra $3,000 for a five year term. And is it, is it worth, is it worth, you know, doing all that? Is it worth, you know, um, paying that extra $3,000 when you shouldn't have been foolish and, you know, maybe saved your money on, you know, having a better down payment and things like that. Also, just think about, um, you know, this money, money is very important. You could put that towards, you know, your maintenance. I mean, I already, even though the car is still fairly new, I already have an account for preventative maintenance because, you know, luckily I was wise with my other car and I did preventative maintenance to give it a lasting life. Um, so yeah, figure out what you want. If you want a new car, start saving money for it. Start shopping and really you know don't compromise if you have a set number be reasonable about it so if you see like on the Kelly blue book it costs so much money don't try to undercut it by so much now could they ever sell it for that price that you want maybe but like you got to be realistic because when you're realistic then you can really have the money to realistically pay for it or else you're always going to be disappointed um and remember that for me personally, a car is something that gets you from point A to point B. So are certain options really that necessary? 
Um, you know, I f honestly think that a lot of the options that I have on this car are not necessary, but it's kind of like the base of the car. So, um, it's cool, but you know, everything costs extra money. Um, I don't have the technology package on this car, but I will tell you the technology package is an extra $3,000. I don't need the technology po uh, package. I have, you know, I have Google Maps on my phone and I have, you know, and a phone only costs like $600 and it does like phone stuff. And I, you know, don't need a lot of extra stuff. Um, there's a lot of stuff on here that I don't, I have and I don't even use it. Like I barely even look at the backup camera. Like I look at it, but I still do it old school style. You know, like I still turn my head and things like that. So you got to think about the features. I mean, I know that a lot of cars base models have these kind of things now. So it's kind of like you can't just cut it out. But if it's an option, you might not want to invest in that option because it's kind of, it costs extra money. So if it's not part of the base, then why would you want to spend that kind of extra money? So yeah those are that's just me talking um because i figured that you know you guys have never seen me in this car so we'll talk about it and i am here now i don't know let me take it out i'm here now so i don't think i'm gonna take you guys in and this battery looks like it's gonna die so yeah I'll talk to you later, and I think I'm definitely going to cut this video down. Okay, you guys, I'm not going to even put you on a mount. I am done. I am so done. It is so hot. It says it's 109. Like, that's kind of ridiculous. It is so stinking hot. And I am just going to let the AC run for a moment because to let the car cool down because... This is the foolish thing about me is I wanted black interior and black absorbs heat. So I think the car is cooling down, but I mean, this is G June and look, it's 108 degrees and my battery is dying. Uh, let me go try to see if I can find another battery. Okay, so back on a non unstable thingy anyway so it's cool it's 106 now um, I put a fresh battery in so let's just do a quick haul while I wait for the car to cool down I still have my sun visor up so I told my husband I will try to be good and I was not successful with that because there were some good sales like this first of all hello look at how, look at how beautiful these are I actually have trainers, but I don't have, I just, no, I lie. I do have a pair of running shoes, but there's our New Balance, and so these are. Okay, this is kind of unstable, but we're using my phone. Uh, luckily, I got a nicer phone, so as I was showing you guys, so I got these beautiful, they're called Lunar Lawn, whatever. On the box, it says Lunar Tempo. Um, they are beautiful like look at how beautiful they are if you're wondering what this is my sun visor <laughs> like and I scored on these shoes because they um, their sale was anything that had like a orange sticker right here I don't think you guys can tell it says 34 95 or something like that 97 so 35 bucks and you get an extra 20% off. So I was like, hey, that is a great deal because that's like 20, I don't know, $28 or something like that. And then uh, when I came up to the register, they were actually ringing up um, $89 or something like that. And they were like, oh, there's a glitch in the system. And I figured that's probably the old, that's probably like why like they were probably the only pair in my size or on the, the clearance wall at all. I mean, look at how beautiful they are. These are running shoes and I tried to peel the, like all the stickers off to show what it says on top as the suggested retail price and it was like $110. So I got that for, what did I say, $28 plus tax. Then I went to 
Gap outlet. And I got this awesome, I just think it's a, like racer back. Well, every, oh, all sports are racer back, but this is in gray. And I just, I, as you guys know, I love Gap Fit and Gap, yeah, Gap Fit. And I just love these straps right here so I can still wear them like regular in like maybe like a really big, um, big cutout type of tank and not worry, you know, it's still cute and the straps are cute and everything. And these were, this was on sale. So it was like $22.99 plus 50% off of this particular color. So it was like $11.50 and then I used my Retail Me Not app to look to see if there were any coupons. They usually exclude clearance sale, but this was just a regular sale. So I had an extra 20% off. So I think this bra was like less than 10 bucks than tax. So that was good. Sorry if this is, this looks dark, but I'm also sunglasses. It is kind of dark, but we will deal. Uh, then I got two of the same thing, one for me and one for my bestie. Her birthday is in July. I went to Coach Outlet and it came in this cute box right here. Um, and it is a wristlet pouch. I just love the color. I'm obsessed with this color right here. And so I got one for me and one for my bestie. This is in Peacock, SV slash, uh, forward slash Peacock. Um, it's called the BP Smith Corner model. Oh, sorry. I don't know if you guys can see it. At this. All right, the sun visor is kind of holding this all together. So that's what it looks like. Oh, crap. Sorry, you guys, so bad car vlogging and I've never vlogged with my phone either so that's what it looks like it was a great great deal um, this was $60 it was $60 and it was part of the clearance and then so it's 50% off clearance and then another 50% off your entire purchase and it was $60 but it was marked to $58.99, which is $59, whatever. So it was like 14 and some change, um, plus tax for each one of these. These are brand new. I like the leather. Oh, it's just, it's just an amazing deal. And it comes in this really cute box that I can wrap and give to my best friend for her birthday. And I got one too, so we can be matchy matchy, you know, because that's how I roll. So it's $14.74. Uh, per one and we can match and you know she can you can put it on the go you can put it in your purse as a pouch um, because you know I carry big old purses next I went to Van Heusen for my dad because it's Father's Day coming up and they always have like a bajillion like you know coupons that they whatever so I guess Van Heusen is also the same company as Calvin Klein, Tommy Hilfiger, and Izod and so I got two polo shirts with pockets so let me just show you it's one is in this color this dark charcoal gray with white stripes mini stripes and then this one is kind of like there's no clips on it so let me show you what it looks like it looks like that it has a pocket because dads, they keep their glasses and pens and all sorts of stuff in there. So this retails for $48, but it's the Van Heusen and it's an outlet. It won't say it's outlet or factory, but it is. And they were like 10 bucks. So I got two, you know, retail $96 together for 20 bucks. So I thought that was a great deal. And then last but not least, I went to Banana Republic, got three items, um, can't even wear them, kind of like with my Memorial Day haul, I just, it was just, just, it was such a great deal, you just can't pass it up, their clearance was 50% off, so I got this, this is thin, but it's still a sweatshirt type of material, not fluffy sweatshirt, but it is a, it's in, in large because I like to wear things oversized and it says 
wonderful. I think it's going to be great, you know, for casual weekends. When it does get cold, even though right now it is so stinking hot, like the back of my neck is sweating right now. And then I got this awesome sweater that was $60 and it was on sale for, it got marked down to $19.97 and then 50% off of that, so it was $10. It's beautiful, it has these buttons that do unbutton on the collar. So I think that's really, really nice. And then, um, even though I do have some really nice purses, I don't really have a big black tote anymore. And I saw this guy just kind of laying around. He's a little misshapen, but that's okay. Um, I find that, you know, um, these things are really nice. This is synthetic leather, leather, but it feels really, really nice. And for the price that I got it for, I'm okay with the fact that it's fake leather. I don't have any problem with using real leather either because I feel like it is a byproduct of the animal. Um, so, like, if the animal dies, might as well use it up for everything that it's worth so it didn't die in vain and so it's quilted it's a quilted tote it looks like this it's pretty big um it has two clips like this so you can kind of uh, clip it in and so it kind of cinches in like that and it also has a magnetic snap closure so you can snap it closed it's a long black simple tote. It only has one zip pocket. And I think this was like $27.50. So the clearance price was $55. So I can only imagine the regular price was at least close to $100. So I thought that was a great deal. And you know, it's Banana Republic. I find like their stuff is really good quality. So that is that. And, and that's all I bought. Thank goodness my husband would probably be like, what did you do? But honestly, I say that, but he, he doesn't really care. He knows that I work really hard and everything that I buy is it's like good quality and I try to save as much money as I can. So yeah, I think the car is cooled down enough now to where I can start driving. I cannot believe I uh, freaking charged the battery and then the battery just decides to just freaking die. So that's kind of like kind of ticked me off a little bit but you know that's freaking life so yeah I'm gonna drive back towards my side of town and probably get lunch and yeah I will probably I don't know I would just say we'll just end it here um if I do any more vlogging or anything it's probably gonna be from like three freaking different cameras so yeah, it is still freaking 105 degrees after sitting here for almost seven minutes. So, yeah, I'm going to let you guys go because I don't have a mount for my phone. And I'll talk to you guys in another vlog or maybe later. Bye!